Okay. So. <clears throat> I am just now getting off of work. Wow, that really doesn't work, does it? And with that in mind, I am going to make a video while driving again, which I've done once before. Now, if I could only find the proper spot to prop this up at, that works. Would that work there? Does that work? Kind of? Sort of? Not really? Oh. I guess that's good enough, right? Okay. I don't want it sitting so well. Nope, that's not going to work either. Half this video is going to be me trying to find a spot to record myself. So anyway. Oh, yeah, and to cover up my thing. So, I have had a few messages on YouTube asking me to record more videos. And, of course, I have not been able to get around to it. Because I've been busy. I've been busy with all sorts of crazy stuff from court crap that I've got to deal with, just showing how some individuals are complete idiots, and uh, dealing with school and work and overtime and all sorts of other fun stuff. So I've been a little busy and preoccupied, so I apologize for the delay in recording a new video. However, another reason I have not recorded a video recently is I don't know what to necessarily focus on in my next video. Um, I do want to do another one on self-defense, specifically on kicking, and I do plan to do that soon, hopefully, but it has not been top priority as doing martial arts in my videos and giving basic direction. A, has something new for me doing, even though I have talked about martial arts in the past and shared off weapons, I also feel that the best instruction will come from an actual instructor in person, not just watching a video. Yeah, you can learn stuff from watching a video. Uh, anyone who knows any sort of some martial arts will be able to at least learn something. But, yeah, I haven't focused on that too much. So, with this video, what am I going to focus on? Uh, this course is going to be a little bit more about spirituality. I haven't thought of the name yet, so I'm sure there's some sort of name that revolves around what this video will evolve into, or devolve into, depending on how you want to look at it. I think I'm just going to vlog this time. I'm not necessarily going to give you advice or information per se. I am just going to vlog, which for those of you not familiar with the term, or those who are familiar can correct me if I'm using it incorrectly, but basically a vlog is a video log where you are basically just kind of doing like a whole, hey, dear journal thingy merbobity. That's a technical term, as you can tell. So with this one and spirituality, I've been thinking. I've been thinking a lot lately, and I've been going through some different trials, both mentally, spiritually, and physically, and I've been thinking, hmm, looking at a lot of your videos, Blaze. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about myself in third person. That's how cool I am. Or not cool, depending on how you want to interpret that. I've been thinking, you say a lot of these videos and you're giving a lot of information. And uh, a lot of these videos with this information that you're giving, you have a tendency to be very general. What I mean by general is I don't go into specific details or dates necessarily. And one of the reasons for that is a lot of that information is not available to me or anyone. Uh, there are individuals who may actually have access to the specific dates of individuals. Um, I, however, have very limited access. There's only so many books out there, uh, and uh, half of them are probably bullshit. The other half of them are opinions, and some of them don't have dates. Uh, of course, there are other individuals to talk to, but likewise, the same issue with the author of some of these books. You, you don't necessarily know what you're getting. So that's uh, another situation where it's kind of like, eh, I, don't, I don't really know if I'm going to buy into what they're saying. And then, of course, you know, going to gatherings and events and classes, you're running into the same shit everywhere you go. My point is, I have a lot of videos telling people about, look at what things are called. 
Uh, specifically, I think I've got quite a few videos on Wicca, just for the simple fact that Wicca seems to be the thing right now, and a lot of people are being drawn to. And I believe a lot of people are being drawn to it because it is a way for people to hide behind a name nobody knows. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is most people have never heard of Wicca. If you go down the street and ask someone what Wicca is, it depends on where you live, uh, but a lot of people won't be able to tell you. They won't have a clue. So you don't have the stereotypes associated with words like witch or wizard. So you're not going to have instant stereotypes necessarily. Now, some people have heard of it and are going to have stereotypes, so, you know, it's, it's going to happen. Still, because it's a newer thing that doesn't have old context necessarily negative or positive associated with it, it's a little bit more freedom of being able to tell you what it is for what it is, if that makes sense. Kind of like if I write a book or anyone writes a book on Wicca and they say, this is what Wicca is and you've never heard of it before, you're going to go off of what that author says Wicca is because you've never heard of it before. So, you know, of course, that gives a lot of authors the ability to write about it and kind of make a fad almost of, uh, you know, what they believe it should be and kind of inspire people to do their version of it. Now, I don't mean any of this to be offensive. I'm just, you know look at it, you know, look at practicalities, look, you know, look at history, look at, you know, different things. If it's not passed by word of mouth, if it's, you know, written randomly in a book somewhere, I mean, you got to, you got to, you got to think outside the box. Where is this data coming from? Where is this information? Where does the word evolve from? Why is everybody talking about it? Why does everybody have a different opinion on it? Well, what you have is you have this clusterfuck going on where everybody is claiming they know what it is based upon one or two books that they read. And it's, I've been sort of, in a way, trying to fight the expansion of idi idiosity, uh, idiosity, I can't even, I don't even know what word I'm trying to say, um, basically trying to stop people from being stupid. And my intent was to educate people on the sources that are available and to encourage you to do more research. Don't take one author's word for it. I mean, there, take Scott Cunningham, for example. I, I greatly respect that author. He has a book called Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, which I have read and own, and that's his take on Wicca. I don't necessarily think that is Wicca. That's Scott Cunningham's version of Wicca. Then there's, some other, there's plenty of books out there on Wicca. I mean, you just go to a bookstore and you're going to find all sorts of things I mean, it's pretty much getting kind of like the uh, Bible. And I'm not trying to pick on Christians here, but let's face facts. There's versions of the Bible. Uh, the thing that kills me most with the Bible is uh, one of the more popular ones, depending on which denomination and spiritual version of Christianity you get into, is, you know, King James's Bible. The fact that it's called King James's Bible, I mean, that, that alone makes me say, well, wait a minute. If that's King James's Bible, then how is that the Bible? I mean, you know, isn't there something kind of missing here? So, with all these books being written and everyone giving their own two cents on what they think Wicca is, what you've gone and done is you have it to where the general population has no clue what it is. And that becomes the thing of being frustrated, you know, or causing frustration. You know, everyone's getting frustrated by it including myself, just for the simple fact that you have this word being passed around with different definitions. So what I've been doing is I've been trying to find out, well, where does it come from? What is Wicca? Where does it come from? Who was the first Wiccan? And of course, most sources point back to Gerald Gardner, which is why I say that in so many of my videos. And I say, you know, hey, about how he created Wicca, and then there's the argument, oh, no, it's based upon this, it's based upon that, it's old and blah, 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 blah. Where's your resources? Where are your references? If I am wrong, which I can very well be, and I tell you in many of my videos, these are my opinions. These are my research notes, so to speak. You know, this is my study that I've done, and I've tried to come and find answers to. So if you have something different, let's talk about it. By all means, educate me. So if it's not from Gerald Gardner, where's it from? Where's your proof? Where's your verification? 
Uh, some people will say it's passed by word of mouth from teacher to teacher. Well, who's to say that person's not full of shit? There's no evidence. I mean, if you want to believe in your teacher who told you his teacher's teacher, teacher, teacher did Wicca or whatever the case may be, I'm not going to argue with you. I don't know. I have no evidence to support or deny that as being fact. But at the same time, because there's no evidence to support that as being fact, don't expect other people to believe it or buy it either. With Wicca and any other faith out there, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of focusing this on Wicca again because that's what everyone's talking about right now. I mean, that seems to be the big popular thing. And, one of, and, of course, another reason it's really big and popular is because of all these authors writing about it and giving their own interpretation of what Wicca is, it's now becoming whatever you want it to be. It's, it's no longer a set thing. It's no longer Wicca is one thing. Wicca it seems to be an umbrella term like the term pagan was for some people for a while or eclectic for a while there. And that's fine. And that's what I've come to realize. That's what I've come to face here is... I've said said before in a couple of my videos too, who am I to tell you? And, I, and I'm saying that again now. Who am I to tell you what Wicca is? If you have an understanding of what you think it is and that's right and true for you, fuck me. Fuck everyone else. Follow your heart. If you're finding fulfillment in what you're doing and what you call yourself, nobody has the right to take that away from you. I don't care what you want to call yourself. I don't care if other thinks you're delusional. You have to find what works for you. And if you're learning something from it, and if you're gaining something from it, an inner understanding or wisdom, or you find peace, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what you call your path. Ultimately, at the end of the day, nobody's really practicing any faith. They're practicing the faith themselves. And the reason I say that is because even if you call yourself a Christian, or a Druid, or a Muslim, or a Hindu, you are interpreting these teachings and you're translating them into something that you can understand. You're making it your own path. And because you're making it your own path, well, guess what? Now you're taking away from what it might have been, and it's your interpretation. And that's good. That's what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to be somebody else's bitch. You're supposed to be your own person, your own individual, your own inspiration. Other people are here, and they're meant to inspire you. They're, they're meant to, you know, the, the whole point in learning religion is not to give yourself up, but to find yourself, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure there's religions out there that contradict that and want you to be a slave to their faith. Which is, you know, that's fine, whatever. More power to you. But that's not me, you know. I'm, I'm all about finding what works for me, what feels right to me. If it doesn't sing true to my heart, then it can piss off. And so can everyone else. Perhaps that's a very negative viewpoint to have, but it's my viewpoint. It's my right to have it. So whatever you call yourself, whatever you want to do, whatever feels right, you don't have to argue or debate it with people. It doesn't have to be real for anyone else as long as it's real for you. I just want to encourage people at the same time to kind of respect where things come from. And that's something, that's a personal choice. That's something I do. I want to know where things came from. I don't want to know what Wicca is today because a couple thousand or even a couple million people have decided that they're going to say this is Wicca. I want to know what it was originally. I don't, that's why I'm not a Wiccan. I don't associate myself with Wicca. It's not that it's a bad faith, it's just, what is it? Where does it come from, you know? It's it's so unclear and shrouded in mist because there's no definitive answer there. I really don't care to associate myself with something that has no actual root. And, you know, there's some individuals, I talked to this one guy on here, and, you know, he, he said it's been passed down since the dawn of time. And I'm not arguing or debating with him there. I'm just, once again, I don't have any evidence to support that as a fact. So I don't buy into it personally. But if he has evidence, and he, he obviously, he truly and utterly believes this, I'm not faulting him for that. If he has the evidence, good, great. If it feels right to him and it feels true to him, awesome, perfect. Follow it. Not a problem there. And, you know, if people go to individuals like this and learn from them, there you go. You have a heritage that he can pass down to you from word of mouth. Awesome more power to you. But for everyone else, just picking up the book, as seems to be a theme of many of my things, you're not, it's not enough. I mean, there needs to be more, or at least to me. Like I said, this is all my opinions, this is all my insight, whether it's bullshit or not, you make your own decision on that. I'm just trying to 
vlog and vent and talk about what I've been thinking about lately. Not necessarily Wicca, but I, I don't really want to go too much into some of the crazy shit I've been into lately and assholes I've been talking to. Uh, but then, of course, the, the other thing I was looking at and considering with this, too, is I was looking, once again, at the root and history of stuff. And one of the things that people try to claim for Wicca being this old and ancient thing, and this is where I have some issues with it, and once again, why I'm saying that I don't personally feel it's old, it's new, is they're talking about the, uh, here I go again. Anglo-Saxon or Angelo? I think Anglo. I think it's Anglo-Saxon. Someone corrected me on it once. Yeah, I don't pronounce everything right. I don't speak the language. I've read it, and I think I said Angelo-Saxon, and they said it's Anglo-Saxon. Whatever it's called, uh, if, if research them. Look them up yourself. Find them in the encyclopedia. Find them on you know online on encyclopedias, Encyclopedia Britannica, Britannica.com, Encyclopedia.com, Wikipedia.com. You know, go look in an encyclopedia and go do some research and find out who the Anglo-Saxons were. And if you look at it, uh, their language is what people refer to as Old English. Or at least, you know, maybe not originally, but what was later spoke apparently was the root of what is now known today as English. So they call it Old English. And they have a lot of their words, inspired words that we speak and know and have today. So, with that being the case, you're going to find, you know, what's called the etymology, which, once again, I could be pronouncing it wrong. Etymology is essentially the origin of words and where they came from and what they mean and who first spoke them and what country, etc., etc., etc. So, you have the term witch. And there has been debates on the etymology of the word witch. Uh, there's a website, etymology.org, I think it is, might be .com, go look it up, it's kind of got like a red banner with this like little gold looking line or something at the top of the page, really cool website to kind of get where words came from, and what that's saying, the word, the, the word origin of which is what a lot of these people who are having older traditions of Wicca that say it's back before Gardner a lot of them are referring to, you know, hey, well, which comes from the word Wicca. And that's kind of bullshit and it's kind of not. Once again, research it yourself. Don't argue with me if you know the truth. I'm just some nut on the internet, you know. I'm just posted a video up here, so I don't know anything technically. Find it for yourself. Get your own answer. Seek your own truth. I'm just trying to inspire you for stuff to research and the vlog. Well, apparently, there is a word in the Anglo-Saxons language, and it's actually, it's spelled like W-I-C-A, and there's a W-I-C-E, and apparently there's also the W-I-C-E, uh, C-R-A-F-T, and apparently this is where they're saying that this is the origin. The pronunciation, if you look up Old English, is not Wicca, it's Wicca. And it sounds very much like witch, but it's witcha and witche. We're very close to that. Like I said, I don't speak the language, so I'm not very, you know, can't give you the exact pronunciation, but if you look it up, that's, that's you know, if you follow the guidelines for how it's supposed to be pronounced, it's supposed to be witcha and witche craft. And craft, just like the original word craft, and like I said, look it up on there. I might be spelling it slightly wrong, too, but research. Go out there. Find some answers. Don't just take people's words from it. You know, take many people's words from it and weed out the bullshit yourself. And they're saying that since there is this word used back then called witcha and witcha craft, that's why Wiccans are the same thing as witches. Uh, first of all, from research, I can already tell you that that's bullshit. The part that's bullshit is the word witch has been used in other areas besides for just around the Anglo-Saxon area. Other individuals have been using the term witch and have used it for different reasons and different purposes and have used the term witchcraft in other ways and fashions. That's part of the frustration behind it all. This is only one origin. This is, and once again, just because the etymology is where it originated from does not mean that the root word is the same thing as the word that evolved from that word. But you'd have to look up language and research etymology on your own and get your own truth there as well. 
Uh, it's getting 20 minutes almost now, so I'm going to try to bring this to a close. So basically, you know, with that trying to be the origin of the word witch, it's first of all pronounced differently. Second of all, a witch show is supposed to be a male, so you're calling the entire religion off of what a male practitioner was called back then. Also, if you look up the Anglo-Saxons, they were Christian. They were converted into Christianity and stuff like that. So just because there was a word to describe this magical practice of that time period does not mean it was an order, a faith, or an organization of any, any form. You know, just because it's a word, like there's words out there for, you know, wizard and all kinds of other stuff, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's talking about an ancient faith. So just because it has that origin does not make it as old as the words being used. Once again, though, the Anglo-Saxons don't go back for thousands and thousands of years using this word, nor do I see any evidence of records of these individuals existing longer than that. So one of the other origins that I was talking about, how other people use the term witch too, one of the other origins was apparently what was left of Druidry, which is why a lot of the Wiccans, they, they do a lot of the Druid practices. The Druids are dead and gone. Um, I can get into that in another video because, like I said, I want to bring this to a close. But they've been reformed. There is a new Druid movement, a Druid revival, and they acknowledge the fact that they're not the original Druids, that they're inspired by the stories of the Druids and trying to reinvent them today. And when it comes to stuff like this, get out there research and find out where it came from. That's just a suggestion. It's something I offer to you. It's something you can try. So instead of just buying into bullshit, get to the history and the heart of it. And if you can't find the heart of the history of it, or it sounds questionable, move on. Being a solitary practitioner and calling yourself Wicca doesn't make you part of some sort of ancient magical power thing. If you're not learning from someone else and you're not participating with someone else, you don't gain anything by claiming a title that others are using. You are still you regardless of what you call yourself. Anyway, so that's 22 minutes. That's me bitching and vlogging. Feel free to leave comments and post. Feel free to ask questions and I'll give you my opinion. And you can decide if it's bullshit or not. And hopefully you can find some insight or inspiration even from more negative videos like this. So this is Blazely Dragon and I'm going to go shopping now for food and stop bothering